everybody. Um, I'm going to make a quick video on how to edit your YMLs on a Mac. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Mac App Store. Uh, you could go into the categories and look for this. Um, I think I was in Developer Tools and I found Text Wrangler. So you want to go to Developer Tools and you will find Text Wrangler or you can just type it right here. It's free so you can install it. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you guys is because I saw that some guy in this version 4.0.1 made a little review. And uh, I, I like this review, and the only reason I, this is the only reason I got it. And I'm going to show this to you guys because it's very similar to what we were doing. Great for bucket servers, five stars. QWERTY dude, 567. I, do, I love you, and he made it today. Oh, so this is very, very recent. So this must be some time ago today. Uh, if you run a bucket Minecraft server, which I do, I run two, then this is perfect for you. It's a great, powerful, and simple .yml editor. Highly recommended. So you can just install that. And thank you, Cordy Dude 567 for doing this. Because without you, I would have never gotten it. Check out some other... Uh, Stuff by the same people made Text Wrangler. It says still the best text editor on Mac. It might be, you don't know. Uh, a lot of their stuff gets good ratings, but first of all, the best one has to be Text Wrangler because of the YMLs. Second of all, it's free. So it's something that you can get with having to pay money. So, yeah. Um, now we're just going to. I, I put Text Wrangler right here. So I have easy access to it. So now I'm going to go into my bucket server. And I'm just going to go and because now I have a uh, text wrangler, YMLs will actually show up. So it will say dot .yml so I know which ones are. But plugins is the way to go. So I'm going to go to colors and you'll see colors.properties, groups.list.list. .list. So I'm not going to use those because really I can't do much with them. Uh, that properties I can just open with anything. Uh, but essentials. A lot of stuff should have a YML which is just config. So config.yml. So you can also use the text, but you kind of don't want to do that. So I, you can go to the config.yml and it'll open it automatically with text angular because that's the default. So, and you can change your message. So I'm going to say, use it wisely, Obi Wan, because I'm a big Star Wars fan. I am, seriously. If my friends are watching this, I'm like, no, you're not. Well, I am. Actually, it's very weird to you guys, but I am. And you'll say, uh, exit, and then you save, and then now it's configed. So now whenever you get a kit, using the kit plugin, that's what you get as your ending. So it says, use it wisely, Obi-Wan. Now, Stargate, I you can also do that, too. So, here it is. Um, there's a lot of falses. You can change those to... Um, trues you can change a lot of the trues to falses of course you can do anything you want now I use essentials for this and use it now you have a lot so I'm just gonna show you guys the YMLs and essentials are the best to do whatever you want on so like take a look at this I think they have their automatics uh, I think these are, yeah, these are all worth? Oh my god. So they already have their own stuff set up. So if I were to sell you, let's find bone. Because I was selling bones to myself. I want to see how much that's worth. Ten. Ten. That's not. So if I were to go into my Minecraft, and I were to say, yeah, I'm my coolest texture pack ever. Let's just actually start up the server. So, let us just close you down. Okay, so if I were to go back to my plugins, essentials, okay. If I were to go into my server, this will make you big screen. If I were to, if I were to say, you know, I want, no, oh crap, I'm not supposed to do that. If I were to say I want to sell something, I would get this amount. So let's say I wanted to sell a diamond pickaxe. Let's find a diamond pickaxe. I have no idea. Mm, diamond pickaxe, okay. It's real shiny, nice. Okay. 
So say I want to do T slash cell. Uh, okay, sorry. T slash cell diamond pickaxe. Boom. $1,000. Now if I were to do a bone, oh crap. And if I were to taste T slash, oh god, cell bone. Well, I don't have it, so I need it. I thought that would work for sure, but no. Oh, shears look like scissors. Well, that's what they are. Oh, uh, let's find a bone. Okay, here's bone. T slash cell bone. So I have $10 now. And if I were to get, like, you know, an egg. Like 16 eggs, I should have $16. So, and then if I were to say slash balance, I should have all that money added. So I, now I have $1,070. So it's really cool to use your configs so that you can just manage whatever you want so you can set the worth of everything. I think I set the worth of even the Ender Dragon egg. Let's find that. <sighs> Uh, da -da 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 it's been about six minutes. Okay. So if I just find the Ender Dragon egg, which I need to, Dragon egg, it's 50. So I set that worth to 50. But if I set it to like, I need to set that high because it's pretty hard. But I'm going to set that to about 1,000. So now I'm 1,000. So if I were to sell a Dragon egg, which I could easily, I have 1,000. Um, <clears throat> so this is a pretty cool. I love this for one. I just love configuring the YMLs because now I know how to manipulate my server even better than I already can. And so the only reason I stumbled upon this was I was just going through apps in App Store, so yeah. It's cool as heck. Get it. I recommend it. If you run a bucket server, other than that, you won't need it because there are no YMLs in your uh, in a regular server, I don't think so, no, but yeah, in general, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later, and once you save it, you're good, I hope you guys enjoyed, seriously, Tech Strangler is the best app you will get ever since apps for Minecraft, anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys later.